All right, we'll go ahead and get started with our last session today. Uh, we're going to have Greg McDonald, our formation evaluation product manager, talking today about how to power up your well log analysis with our new app, Formation Evaluation. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Phil. Um, thanks for sticking with us uh, so long. Um, you know, this is the last, uh, last breakout session, so I'm going to take this time to do a little deep dive into our newest app, Formation Evaluation. So formation evaluation started um, in the 1930s uh, with written logs on paper. Um, and over time, those logs have grown into, you know, uh, mechanically uh, generated logs, PDF logs, digital logs, and now we're putting it into Corva. Um, but over time, some of the same conventions have been used over and over to show the data. Um, you know, back in my youth, I would go to my grandfather's office um, and I would see well logs on the wall and the the channel types and the naming and the, the way the lines look they always look the same um, and, and it looked the same when i became an lwd in the permian as well so we had to use take history in mind when we built this app to make sure users instantly when they got into corva they knew what they were looking at they had the same features the same functionality and the same look and feel um, you know as as you know well logs have had throughout time um, so that's what we built into the app. Um, so I'll start off with the data source. So Corvo can pull in two types of, uh, of data. One is LAS data, data, which could be historical or maybe a corrected log from during a run, um, as well as WITSML depth, which is you know your real-time depth logs. Um, so starting with the LAS part, it's really easy in Corvo to upload an LAS file. Um, you know, the users have the ability to, to do it themselves. So if you go here through the upload LAS file button in the, in the app, it, it'll take you to a settings page and then you can upload your log. Um, so you just basically hit upload LAS, find the right log, and then give it a second to load. It'll take, depending on the file size, this is a pretty big file size, so it'll take, you know, 20 to 30 seconds to load. But once it loads here, it'll be ready to go. So it's all, it's all ready to go, so you can see the data in the table. You can't edit the data, but you can edit any um, LAS header that you'd like. So, you know, if you don't like uh, some of the, 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 the namings that your LAS file or real-time data had, you can really quickly change it to, you know, let's just call this density save and then that'll that'll go through to the app itself and in the header of the app it'll show density um, so that's really easy we we gave that feature to users so you know even without waiting on our ops team with our accounts team if you have an LAS file on hand you can upload it so back to the dashboard um, this is the formation evaluation app the probably since I have the same name log, it probably overwrote it. But um, once you're back in the log, you can have a template saved to view your data. And we also give like these, these basic templates uh, away as well. So if you look in our template folder, there's a, a gamma resistivity, a triple combo, and a quad combo log. So if you, you know, if you were just starting out and you didn't know, you know necessarily how to get started, you would have this quad combo log up. You're running a gamma ray resistivity um, and density neutron combo. We, we basically tag all the, the density data as density and we pull it into the log auto automatically. Now from there, you probably have your own way you wanna see this data in the application. So um, you can start editing. So basically once you start, if you wanna start editing this log, all you do is you go to templates, you make a copy of the template. Um, it's super easy, make a copy, um, you know, Greg copy, and then start editing. Apply go to that template. And so now I've made a copy of this template and then I can start making uh, you know, any adjustments I want to the data so that it'll show up differently. And then it saves. So well after well, as you use the same combo of tools over and over, um, you know, say you're on a completion string and you run a certain set of tools down hold during completions, you, you pop up your completions template and it's good to go. Um, so it's really easy to jump through these templates um, and it, it makes, makes you know going back and forth from different rigs different wells different sections very 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 fast um 
So the data types um, in formation evaluation are a little bit different than the traditional trace data we got. Um, so most, most trace data should be shown linear, linearly based on time, and that's what our traces app was good for. Um, but we knew that we needed to build a special app to cover um, the, the different data types of the formation evaluation tools. So you can see here on the resistivity track, this is no longer a linear log, it's a logarithmic log. And if you wanted to, you know, for some reason view in, in a linear in a linear way, you can go here, change to linear. Um, and then, you know, there, there are certain features like that that you're, you expect to see when getting these types of data that we've added into the log. Um, you know, as well, your porosity, you're used to seeing uh, backward scales. We've added that functionality as well as the area fill. So it's really easy to change these logs up um, and, and add whatever, whatever channel you're getting. So whatever you're sending in the LAS file or the depth stream, we can pull in. Um, so in addition to formation evaluation, like your traditional LWD or wireline tools, um, you could send us a vibration log over depth and view your vibration in this app. You could send um, gas detection data based on depth and view it in this app. So um, if it's a depth index data um, from the rig, this app is really, really good at, at displaying that. So, you know, if you want to add anything to the log, you go to the new trace, any channel that was in the, um, in the uh, file, you just add save and it'll start popping up. Um, so to kind of wrap up, um, you know, this is a really great tool for, you know, identifying your, your hydrocarbon zone. Um, you can use PWD data in it to identify a potential hazard or a potential well control problem, a potential well bore stability problem. Um, in addition to that, you know, now that this data is coming in real time through our collections, you can view that through our um, alerts engine so you can set alerts to it um, as well. Uh, one really neat thing we did with this app is we got a lot of feedback that, you know, traditional viewers, real-time viewers that they're using right now from the rigs for formation evaluation don't have a mobile app. Um, and so we put a big emphasis on making this very mobile compliant. So now when you load this app on your phone, um, you're going to get an amazing uh, interface to use on your phone. Um, so you can view this data from, from wherever you're at. Um, and, and it'll work, you know, just basically the same as in the, uh, the web app itself. Um, but yeah, so the, we're really excited about the formation evaluation app. It's kind of our first foray into, you know, uniting data from the geology, geo steering and drilling departments together so that they can all view data in one single platform.